We are not going to live forever here. You know, I know very well. I mean, I'm going to die one day. When you want to go for a, a job interview, you would want to make sure that that place that you're going to is the right place for you. Good education or good money and good... Do you not do that? No, I hate it. Yeah. Did you guys know what the Prophet peace be upon him said? قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن تحت ظل صدقته يوم القيامة. Prophet peace be upon him said, the one who gives in sadaqa, his sadaqa will be a shay on Yom al-Qiyamah and that we're here every Friday and Sunday doing dawah to many people, alhamdulillah. Seven shahadas two weeks ago. Shahadu an la ilaha illallah. Two shahadas last week. Two shahadas last week. You can support this brothers and sisters with the material. Alhamdulillah, some of them we pay for, some of them, alhamdulillah, we get for free as you guys donated to the Salah Plus project. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, if you can donate whatever you can, it will help our operations to have a cameraman, an editing team, and some of the brothers who come here, alhamdulillah, and dedicate their time and effort to give in dawah, inshallah. The link is in the description box below. Barakallahu. Why are we, think about it, why are we really forfeiting our eternal abode, our eternal abode, where there's going to be life for, because... Sorry, the cameras are making don't, me laugh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you don't want to be in the camera, then don't be um, in the camera. Don't record them if they don't want to be. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's, it, yeah, yeah. The, the reason, the, yeah, yeah. The reason why we're having this discussion so that people can, you know, think and reflect and other people can, other people can learn from this that. experience I appreciate that. yeah of course I appreciate so that. What, what, what we are saying is look yeah. we are not going to live forever here no. you and you know i know very well yeah. i mean we're going to die one day do you know when we're going to die we all think we're going to die when we're old age that's what everyone thinks right isn't it yeah. but don't people die young yeah i've got so, friends that have yeah so why are we then thinking that we will also die old and we have all the time left to think about the reality, think about why am I here? Where did I come from? What's going to happen to me when I die? Why are we leaving these questions for later? When you want to go for a, a job interview or go for a university place, or, you would want to make sure that that place that you're going to is the right place for you. Good education or good money and good... Would you not do that? No, I hate Yeah, yeah. yeah? So if it's your life, would you not want to make sure your life that you're living here is actually meaningful rather than simply going by the flow like a sheep? Thank you, boss. Yeah? I will think about what you've said. Okay? Can, I, can I give you all copies of the Quran? Because, yes. Of yeah. Yeah. because that's where... That's where... Can I have a Quran, please? Another one. That's where it will really open up your minds about this reality. Look, in one of the chapters of the Quran, look what it says. I mean, I, I want to really share with you. Something that we just talked about now, about how we are going with the flow. There's this chapter. Here, look. It's very interesting to read this right here. No, I'm not any religion. We're agnostic, atheist. I'm open to. Yeah, yeah. Like do you want to do you want to have a read? I mean, this on a few lines, but I want just to read what it says here. Competition in worldly increases diverts you. Competition and all these things diverts you from what? To the I'm, get, I'm getting you to embrace the, the camera. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not so the whole world, in terms of having more and more and more, right? Sorry. This is how we are diverted because we want to get more, more pleasure more joy more girlfriends or new girlfriends what? more girlfriends right yeah new girlfriends yeah. that's the thing but this kind of diversion diverts us from what from the reality the reality is we will hit the reality when it's too late and that point it's you too late to return yeah. exactly and that's why can i ask you a question do you think that like i completely respect and understand what you're doing the problem is that like we are raised in a culture here which does not openly accept what you're saying. Like we're so readily given these things that you're saying, don't give you the fulfillment you're meant to have. Do you know what I mean? You're saying these things are sinful and they're sort of, they're not giving you the fulfillment that religion could give you, you know? No, what I'm saying simply, we are being diverted from the reality. We are distracted from the reality. It's like yeah. you're living in a matrix when it's not real. Because yeah. all of these things are not gonna be real. Imagine you, one day you'll be settling with what? A wife. Yeah. Sooner or later. And then you realize, oh, I wish I had, I wish I had settled earlier. 
because the the real joy, the compassion, the love, the the tranquility, the mercy that you will find within this marital bond between your your wife, for example, you will you you will see the difference. But now, because you're not into that reality, and it's like all going into like let's go with the flow, like everyone's trying to have some fun, but the fun will stop. Like people gamble, what happens? They gamble and then they lose all of their money and so on. They so what we are if you want to enjoy, then what's stopping you from raping someone if that makes you happy? Ah, look, look. No, 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 no. I'm just giving an example. So that's what I'm saying. Of course, we should not rape anyone. Raping is one of the most detestable things that can happen. But some people think that way. They think, look, sexual relations makes me happy. I want this girl. Why, 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 why is that girl stopping me from having that relationship? Why is the police stopping me from that? People because go, it's not fair in the first. yeah, but when people think about enjoyment, they don't care about, some people don't care about fair and justice. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying is when emotions drive us to a level, it could lead, lead us to such an extreme where people start killing, raping, plundering and so on. This is what happens. So what Islam provides is a boundary in which you can still have fun, joy, entertainment, but within this boundary. So there's a limit to where you can exceed. Just like in any society, you can't do anything that you want. There's a police, there's a criminal system. The police are gonna come here and lock you up for it. So the religion from our creator is a way to live our life in a controlled way so that we protect everyone else. That we don't go and start raping or thinking about raping someone else, for example. Do you believe so, everything in the Quran, every single verse? If it comes from God, why shouldn't we? Who knows better than what us, about the God? Prophet? Do you what the, prophet says? the prophet, are our role model. The prophet should be trained and developed by Creator, so that we can. Would you listen to someone who smokes and says, "Don't smoke"? If they're a professional, then do you, do you see that? If we behave hypocrite. So likewise, a prophet of God has been are, are really the most upright person, the most truthful, the most you know just people and loving, caring people to demonstrate to us that I want to be like them. I want to be like the Prophet. Because that's thank what you, prophets come to, to we're, we're tell us. Go, but thank you One very question much. Sweetie, Why can't you believe in God? You said you're atheist, right? Yeah. Because there's too much shit that's happened in my life where someone like God could have inter like stopped that and nothing's changed. But do you think God should just give people free but will? If he's all powerful and all there's, a, there's an issue here. We believe God has given us a certain amount of free will. If God gave us free will where we can exercise, for example, someone can take a knife, stab someone or, or cut an apple and eat the apple, right? God tells us don't kill someone. If, if God truly gave us this free will, limited free will, and then every time someone wants to kill someone, butterflies then you don't have free will. But it stops you from killing, stops you from doing all the bad things. Then would the free will have any meaning then? I had... Think about it. If God stops everyone doing bad things, those who wanted to do bad with their free will, would you then still have a free free will? No. Then there you go. I want to add to that. We have free will for a reason. We're on this, so God, God tests but God can establish who are the good people, who are the bad people, right? That's why we live together, and that's why we give to charity, we help the poor, help the needy, and things of that nature, right? People don't murder, you have people who murder. You, you can see who are the good people or the bad people, right? But to say that God doesn't exist because there's, a baby has cancer, this guy's died, this guy died, yeah, it's kind of naive because one aspect you can also look at is how can you be grateful for the good that you have in your life without having witnessing the evil? How can you be grateful for your child being in good health when you don't when you see other children being in bad health? My friend, he, he didn't drink, didn't do drugs. He went to the gym and didn't wasn't horrible to anyone and he died at 18. Uh, His life and death is fixed. Everyone needs to fulfill their purpose. But then that's also a test for the people. People lose 
some people are alive and they can test their faith if you know it. There's a wisdom that we don't understand. God, if you believe in the attributes of God, you know that God is all knowing, all powerful, all wise, He knows the future, He knows the past, He knows everything. And if you believe in those attributes of God, and then for God to do something, you know that God only wants good for you. There's a reason why this happens. We might not understand. Maybe it's for you to grow. Because you know with suffering, people grow, get better. You only get better if you suffer. When people go to the gym, isn't it painful sometimes lifting all yeah, these weights? So what does pain then eventually give? Gain. Gain. Yeah. So likewise, in our life, in our troubles and suffering and so on, we learn patience. We learn to value people and other people. We have learned about empathy, about sympathy. All of these things, there's benefit for it. So there is no such thing as an absolute evil. These things, evil is relative. Okay? We are told to avoid committing evil, like evil actions, bad actions. That's how we can live our life in peace and tranquility. But some people, because of their free will, they abuse it. And that's what happens. But it doesn't mean that just because people die young and so on, it means God is not there. Everyone is given an opportunity, those within this life. Yeah, and they have to fulfill their purpose on life, of life within the time frame. Because I don't know what, how, how much I have in terms of That's my life, neither do you. That's yeah. why I'm going well, to do some research. Please do, and read the Quran, and then we'll have lots of questions answered there. You too.